Imagine a car that not only drives on electricity, but generates its own power from the sun. This is Ford's future electric car designed to harness the energy of sunlight, driving smarter, greener, and more independently. Sunlight, traveling 93 million miles from the sun, brings with it streams of photons, tiny particles of light. When these photons collide with the solar cells built into the car's body, they unleash a burst of energy, causing electrons in the cells to get excited. These excited electrons generate an electric current, a steady stream of electricity that flows into the car's circuits, feeding directly into the battery, powering your drive. As long as the sun keeps shining, your car keeps generating power, storing energy in the battery so you can drive further without needing to stop and charge. But what happens when the sun isn't shining? On cloudy or snowy days, when sunlight is scarce, the solar cells generate less energy. However, your journey doesn't stop there. Simply connect to a charging station and let the electricity flow, replenishing the battery and keeping you on the move. Even when sunlight is limited, the car taps into traditional charging methods, ensuring that your journey never stops. The car is designed to harness the power of not just light, but heat as well. It absorbs ambient warmth from the surroundings, converting it into electricity to keep the battery charged. This cutting-edge technology captures both light and heat, turning them into usable energy that's stored in the battery. Whether under a blazing sun or on a chilly day, the car is always charging, reducing the need for traditional charging methods. With this advanced blend of solar and thermal energy harvesting, Ford's future electric cars could redefine the way we drive, a vehicle that powers itself using natural energy, making the future of driving smarter, greener, and more independent. Want to dive deeper into the evolution of cars? Hit subscribe and check out our other videos on the future of automotive technology.